Hello and welcome back to Railway Empire. We're staring at a warehouse that's about to be bulldozed. Why is that? Well, I've done the map and during my vacation, I, I had a play around and I could not get us another gold tick, guys. No, it's over. The gold tick streak comes to an end. But it's okay because now we've got a change of plan. Before, I was going to try and push the uh, population a little bit and then build us uh, the three new settlements or create the three new settlements. However, I, I tried many ways and it's not going to happen. As such, I'm going to take this warehouse on the chin as a mistake. Now, the problem is we've got goods in here, but like I said, we've got to do it. There we go. For the disposal of our stored commodities, which is a, a warehouse absolutely packed to the rafters with fish or seafood. We've got to pay nearly a quarter of a million. Oh, I should have done this differently. Should have, could have, would have. We haven't. And I do feel like doing it this way is going to help us. Right, we're going to delete this back as well. We're going to rework this whole section. Our plan is to head down here. There's Brisbane. We need to head here. There's a city. I can't remember the name of it. Brisbane is in the next set of tasks. And its requirement is sheep's wool. And the only one close is this one, which is locked. So to unlock it, we're going to need this place here. That's the plan, guys. I know. It's a bold move. It may backfire. But I'm willing to go for it. Because we can't get the gold tick. Simple. Might as well take advantage of the fact that it's not going to be gold and get us a comfortable green, maintaining some momentum for our uh, future tasks. That's the plan. That's the plan. How are we going to do it? I don't know. I say I don't know whether we'll do it. We should easily do the, the scenarios. How much of an impact that's going to have on our score. Right, let's get building, shall we? We've got a lot of cool infrastructure to do today. Uh, with this new new setup in mind. So we're going to get B Dubbo going and growing. The reason is, is because it's going to help in, in the future with our funds. Finances are still going to be king here. We are going to need a lot of... Is that a... No, that's a maintenance station. We need a warehouse. There we go. We're still going to need a lot of funds, aren't we, to keep moving forward. All right, so warehouse is in. This is where our new warehouse is going. As you can see, it's connected directly to Dubbo. And that will pull stuff that it requires from the warehouse automatically without needing that small little connection. We're now going to get this maintenance yard and we're going to extend the uh, crossover capabilities down here. And we're going to have a second grain farm as well. We're going to double up this maintenance yard. It was asked in the comments, why do I use these so close together? If you're new to the series, that may look a little bizarre. If you watched the, the previous series, though, where we were in Northern Europe and the one before that, and possibly the one before that as well, what I like to do is use them as signal control junctions, uh, ways for trains to get past each other when it's busy rather than just for maintenance purposes because they will swap over tracks uh, so technically depending on how busy it is you've got four going both ways either way there you go that's why i use them like this as i said we're going to have another train station on the grain farm here as dubbo's going to do something similar to everywhere else around here or most of our cities shall i say and that is they're going to be uh, making some beer. So here we go. We've got we got the basics in. This is why we need the extra junctions here so that we can cross over between the two easily. It should give us enough room possibly to go across as well later on. Right, that should be all we need here. New tracks are in. It's getting a little bit hectic around here. Granted. But I think we can uh, make this work. So that's now going all the way down to here. We have another access point, should we need it. 
I don't think we will, really. But what we're going to do is have this head up that way. And that's going to join into there. The reason we're left with these two is I would like to pull wood down and into the warehouse. So we've got access to wood uh, from a central location. We have more wood here we can pull in. But we might as well push these to the max. This gives us a lot of options to get into the warehouse. No matter where we come from. Because we have to remember, we currently only come from Newcastle and up that way. But we'd like to bring Sydney into play eventually. That's why we're doing it like this. Right, now we can get into the warehouse there. We can't get all the way across, I don't think, to Dubbo. Or can we? Well, no, we might be able to. From this maintenance station, yes, we can. Ignore me, we can indeed. This can connect into the warehouse as well and then drift over to Dubbo. Uh, with this one here, we can have a crossover that goes up that way, which will give us access uh, both ways. Okay, that's enough wiggling of that. What I'll do instead is we'll build the junction and then we'll build a second part just here and then we can delete it back. Oh, did I leave, leave us enough room? Yes, I did. Look at that. Precision track building. Then we can just slide in like that. And, oh, come on. Surely you can go in there. There we go. Now we have a crossover there. And we can also have a crossover from here. Do you know, this is what I was saying. Sometimes it likes to build these really easily, these uh, crossovers. Other times, not so much. Doesn't matter though. We do know how to get around it. 24%, really. Really? What's going on there? I don't think that works out correctly, does it? Every time. No. It's a little bit bizarre. Does that do it? There we go. Oh, I just realised. You don't have to draw it across all the way at all, do you? Go from there and then join it into there. That's probably easier. So that's going to be going across that way. Like that. This one can go across like that. Oh, there's even enough room for a couple of signals. I mean, I don't know whether a train will squeeze in there, but we've got them in anyway. That side and that side. I mean, I'll take it. Do we want to come across again? Technically, we could come across. No, there's no need, Grand. Oh, the wood. How's the wood going to get there, you burk? Oh, no, there's the warehouse. Yeah, we're not going to get direct. We don't need to, do we? Because the warehouse is going to handle our logs plus they've got access to an, another logging camp down here however this does make it a little easier to get uh, logs to orange i know we have this connection here but wagga wagga is kind of in the middle of nowhere it does also mean that some towns up here get access to logs if they want to pull them from the warehouse or more importantly we can take them back to newcastle and deliver some goods from Newcastle up to the warehouse. That's probably the the biggest benefit. Okay, have we got everything in here? It's looking fairly tidy. We have an extra uh, connection on that side. We do on this side as well, which is going to take us up the coast. Hopefully, that's the plan. All right, let's get some signals in and get it all signaled up and ready to run. We'll probably, no, we will have to fix our trains where we did deleted the warehouse and rebuilt it and they'll be trying to go to the older warehouse for some reason it doesn't like to update them the only downside to this was possibly the destroying of goods that we already had in there i feel like the uh the positives far outweigh the negatives for doing this it shouldn't take us too long to get a full stock of fish or seafood in there once we've got all this done are we all tidy now? Yes, we are. Now then, this one is going to go across the river. Obviously, it's going to make a bit of a meal of it, as always. But if you keep wiggling it around, you can usually find a nice grade, or a nice compromise anyway. Where does this want to go? I guess we could go into here. And that gives us the opportunity to head out again. And head a different direction for the warehouse. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we're in. The reason we're doing Dobbo is for... I mean, it's all about sheep's wool all of a sudden. 
which is wonderful because at the beginning we were avoiding the uh, weaving places. If, oh, do you know what would be good here? You missed that. You missed the trick there, Mr. T. That is the perfect opportunity to have a maintenance station acting as a junction. Just here, it's nice and flat. That means we could even, if we wish, bypass orange or pull in uh, these other goods into this maintenance station. We could even use it as a turnaround as well. There we go. Now we should be able to go right into there. And we got 1% uh, back on our grade as well as it was too. The music's boisterous. It seems to like my idea. That's not it at all, is it? But it is appropriate. I was a little disheartened for, for a time. It's like, well, what, do, what can you do? Well, I guess we take the positives from it and, and look forward. Are we good? Do you know what it means though, don't you? Yes, it means that uh, poor old Junie here is going to get uh, neglected. I said I wouldn't, but it's going to happen. Okay, I think that's everything. What do we got to do now then? Uh, that's everything hooked up there. I think we can get everything here. We can get to everywhere. This is the main maintenance yard. We can't, we don't cross into each other. I mean, that would be an idea, wouldn't it? We could come in earlier like this. I guess we'll see how it goes. I kind of like that idea to come out of here and into there. So if we've, if we're finding like we've got a little bit of a backlog, because this is going to get a lot busier, then we might be able to do something about that. I think we can access most things though. As long as we can get from the uh, logging camp there. Okay, guys, right, let's fix some lines. We'll find them. First one's going to be orange. Uh, as you can see there, it says error. What it needs to be is this warehouse and so we'll delete that. And luckily it didn't disband all of its goods. Now we have to find all the ones that say warehouse one, which are, uh, we've got one there, Lopez Fisheries, that now says nothing, which is an error. Uh, oh, but we've, I've lost where we were. Now needs to be the warehouse. Uh, what else do we need to do? Oh, quickly, you need to actually set this to accept fish quickly. Seafood. We will expand this. We will absolutely expand this. Now we need to find the other one that goes there. I think there's only two that head to this warehouse before. Uh, it would be, well, they're both from the fisheries, aren't they? Lopez Fisheries to Warehouse 1. One of them said error and the other one says Warehouse 1 still. But it does still say error here. And to make sure that we catch up, let's get us another train heading out of there. In fact, has it sent one off that's empty? It has. So what we could do is duplicate that and then this one we can delete because it's going up there empty. Right, we've tidied it up a little bit. This, I just noticed, could be one of our new Heislers, which I do like. Get you on there. There we go. Got a fancy new train. Right, let's spend some points. What are we going to unlock? What are we going to unlock? Oh, yes, we're going to unlock tunnels. That's going to become very useful. We don't want to be paying too much for those, and we're going to need a lot of them. Uh, who have we got here? An inventor. I don't want to spend money on research at the moment. We will need more and more trains running this. So we're going to get another one running. They're going to be empty from the warehouse at the moment. But that's okay. Now, when they drop off the fish, it will actually deliver those. See, I keep calling them fish. I mean, there's fish on the plate. But they will uh, grab those to create their settlement. Likewise, if when we deliver the logs, the same will happen for beer. Anything that you throw into a warehouse that is attached to a settlement, just like a city, it will take them. There we go. Let's get these growing. We're going to go from here to here. And we'll get Dubbo. 
founded as a city. And about time too. As you can see, we're already into 1875. If we quickly look at our task, there's absolutely no way we can achieve the gold tick. However, we can do this within plenty of time and that's, that's okay. We'll accept agreeing. I'm not, I'm not willing to accept it, am I? I will be playing this again on my own and I'll let you know how it went. Right now, a promoter is rather important for us, isn't it? Uh, as that would help the population growth. So probably orange. Are we good? Oh, you're quite low. In fact, you're dangerously low. We really need to get Dobbo. Dobbo, Dobbo growing. Now, which is going to be tough, isn't it? It's absolutely going to be tough. Could do with some, some sawmills underway. I don't think we put these trains in either. No. Let's get the uh, the cows moving because they are delivering down to orange, so that would help as well. Get one in there, and we'll do the same for over here. Great only. There we go. That's going to get them growing a little bit. Absolutely get a security guard on there. Any green arrows? No. I almost said ticks. Well, there we go. We've got the... Uh, oh, you're not delivering enough. We might need to upgrade that. It's a lot of money, but I'm going to do it. We'll probably need to add a couple more on there. If we do this, then what we can do... How much you got on the uh, platform at the moment or in the stores? Only two. Oh, yes. I would like, on this short run, a security guard is absolutely ideal. Now, can we get a... Well, I'd prefer you, if possible, to point to, to him, but I don't know. We'll take that. We'll take it. It's less downtime, isn't it? It's less downtime. Wow. That security guard really does cheer everybody up, doesn't he? He's a, he's a marvellous person. Right. Uh, conductor, yes, we're going to get some more express lines going. Do we have an express on here? We do. We have two. That's good. What do you got in here? The beer, oh yes, we've got to delete those trains now. Don't need those running. But we got the beer, and you saw that they uh, took the seafood. What are you doing? You want to delete this one. They took the seafood, so it's just wood. I'm actually going to send these down direct for now. Uh, we can just send them straight into there. Now that's a weird way. Oh, do you know what? You can't get across here, can you? That might be a, an ideal little crossover. Could we fit it in, say, from here? Can we get... Might need to zoom in a bit. If we go across like that and get it up to a 1 and build from there, and then we send this one up as well, we should be able to scoot in there. Just as a... I don't know, if we ever need to go across here. Like now, for instance. We can use that little crossover. And that should give us direct access now, shouldn't it? If we go from there to there, there we go. We, we use the little crossover and then we head into Dubbo. Perfect. Let's get the logs delivered. And then what we've got, grain is the other one, which will be the easier one. We'll do that one twice. And then we'll set up using our new station. I don't think we, we can actually get across from there, but this saves them crossing traffic, which is key to keep your network running. I heard a thunderstorm there in my in my headphones. There it is. You can just see it there. That does uh, cause breakdowns for your trains if they get caught under that. Interesting. Right, what do we got? Another promoter? No, that's the same promoter. Ooh, can we go for orange? Anybody growing? See, they're on the decline because we uh, lost the seafood. Anybody growing, though? What about Bendigo? They, they sort of hover around. No, everybody's kind of miserable at the moment. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get around it. Newcastle, I'm hoping, would grow. What about Sydney? Now, they're a long way off growth, aren't they? I would really like you guys to start growing again, if possible. 
Now, if you give a promote, if you place a promoter on a city, or if you give them a city that's on the decline, it will increase how quickly they're declining. So we can't really use them. And we could increase that. That might steady it out a little bit. What we need hooking up is the weaving factory, which we should get soon. We have the grain underway. What about Wagga Wagga? How are you doing? You're at 57%. In fact, let's go for that if we've still got you. No, she's gone. I mean, we, we didn't really have a place for, for a promoter to go without causing issues. Right. Rather than unlocking a train, I would like to go for across the board. We've got a lot of trains. So across the board, increased maintenance or reduced maintenance time would be lovely. Another conductor. We're going to need a lot of passenger trains, aren't we, to use all these conductors up. Although we will do. It looks like we've almost done over here. Where's our two trains here? We can keep one of these running, I think. Yes, we'll keep one of these running, that one. You are going to continue on your way. Hopefully this will be perfect. Right, before he gets up there, let's get us a brewery in here. I know we've got a lot of breweries, but, uh, oh, you've not left yourself much room there, have you? Can we get us another station in here so it doesn't block us from building later? I feel like we're going to need one eventually. And then this side can go into here. We go in. Oh, there we go. We're back to being able to put it in again. The other one can run. In fact, that might be better for our... Uh, a direct line to the grain farm and really keep it separate from everything else. Yeah, but it's a lot of track laying. At the moment, we can get away with it. And we've only got one train running, so... We'll keep it as... Oh, should we? I mean, we don't need a maintenance yard. You know what? I might do it. We're going to have one direct line. We're going to head down here. Then we're going to branch off slightly. And then we can come back in. And then into the station. And then we'll use that for uh, like an express grain delivery service online. It does mean we'll need a supply tower on here for sure. What's up with you? Why are you doing silly things? There we go. It's missing out signals for some unknown reason. I'm going to put a supply tower on the quad track. There. And there. We can't do them here because there's not enough room. Yeah, we can't squeeze them in anywhere. We can squeeze one in there. I'll take it. Uh, we'll leave that one. Sometimes they won't use the supply towers within the maintenance yards if they're not requiring maintenance. I'm not 100% sure that's accurate, but that's the feeling I get from them. Right, now we, we have this built, we can add us the brewery in here. Although it is tempting, I must say, given we would like orange to grow, to skip Dubbo having grain and instead jump straight to planks and sawmills. It's a bit of a bold move, but they do have wood right there. And if we put wood into the warehouse as well, they can pull it from both that one and this one. Yes, do it. Because then you're going to immediately be supplying orange, which will be ideal. What did you put in? After all that, you went and put in the wrong thing, you absolute plonker. <laughs> you go and explain yourself. And then you put in a brewery. Oh, that was a waste of money. Never mind. It's in now. Right, I like that idea. Everything's just a little too far away, isn't it? From uh, growth. I promise you, I am paying attention. I honestly thought I clicked it. <laughs> oh no, the excuses are coming. Right, let's get wood underway. We'll use a uh, signal control station for that because wood can be delivered to every every city as it is a basic requirement and we'll get us a where's our sheep's wool we've got this active now 
So if we do something along these lines for that, and then something here, say down there, and go across that contour line there, because we do have cities behind us as well, or north of us. We're actually looking south at the moment. So if we come in there with the wood, that leaves us a spare track on the inside uh, to head up to, is that Tamworth over there? It is, look at me remembering. Goodness me, you're feeling all right, Grand. Right, now, what are you? You're just a junction. So you want to head into there and into there and also give us access up here. We'll go direct like that. The only problem we have at the moment is a direct line here. However, what we could do is a bit of a snaky S thing. We can backtrack just a little bit and come in up here. I don't think it needs to drift off that much, does it? There we go. That gives us access into that one. It's a little bit of a detour, but whether we're going to be using it much, I don't know. But that is a straight line almost. We could create bridges later on when we've got the funds and head over that way. Goodness me, we've got a lot, lot of uh, track building again today, haven't we? Networks galore. It's all in preparation as we still haven't unlocked it. And so we can't go over to Brisbane yet and unlock that final town up there, which I guess it will be a village to start with. And then a town and a city as it grows. OK, so we've got that in. Get all these signaled up because half the time I will forget and wonder why we have strange delays in our trains. So as long as we do them as we add add the tracks it saves little hiccups like that no doubt we'll find some that i've missed from earlier put a supply tower there we're going to put them in to give them more options for filling it does hold up the traffic a lot but it all depends on whether they're filled up uh, at the maintenance stations they don't fill up at the stations themselves I'm going to put signal controlled on here. We're going to get this up and running. I don't know whether we're going to use this for more than just orange. If we put this in here, we can also branch off from this, this point and perhaps head out that way. We'll put it in. If I put it in now, then we've got the junction made. All right, you get in there. We don't have to signal that little section up, a little spur. But it is where it's heading. Right, what do we need to do now? We need some maintenance buildings on these. All of these. Including our new ones. The only reason I do the maintenance buildings last is that, as you can see, time is ticking away as we're adding these. Same for creating lines. So it's a good idea to do all your paused stuff first. Unless, of course, you have it on trianic mode, difficulty mode where it uh, doesn't even pause for that, I think. I've not tried it. Maybe one day I'll try it. Right, okay, we can finally get sheep's wool underway to orange. All of that. That was some major work done. But we've got it going. We can duplicate that. I'm actually going to go ahead and buy this quickly before it goes too high in price so we can upgrade it immediately as so i really want to push push the uh grain grain the sheep's wool up to there you feed them grain i would imagine and you almost stuck grain into the warehouse good job right what do we want in here we want tweed is that what it is i just calling it cloth and it's tweed of course it's tweed and there's some clothes there as well, which is what they're going to do eventually. There we go. Our, our warehouse is getting a little bit bigger. In fact, let's just upgrade that now. Done. We need cities to grow. We need orange to grow. We can bump this up now. I know it's saying that we don't have enough. But that will change. We do not want to buy that for a million. Especially when we... We're in the red. Right. That's a good place to end that one. Why is it a good place to end that one? Because we're broke. Okay, we're not really. 
Our money is coming in thick and fast. What I'm hoping to do at the start of the next one is if we look at the unlock settlements and we head up here to Brisbane, Bundaberg, that's what we need to be uh, building. As you see, it unlocks our, our sheep's wool there, which will be a requirement for our next set of tasks at Brisbane. Uh, also coming up, we've got to hook up Adelaide. I missed out on the connection bonus there because I was faffing around. We don't need the money, do we? No, it would have been nice. But we have a little trio to uh, hook up there and get Adelaide boosted a little bit. I mean, thinking back to what I was saying earlier and where we, where I messed up possibly to not get this one as a gold tick, this is this would have been perfect. It would have helped the uh, the total population and would have had access earlier on. And we could have really gone hard on uh, on creating three new settlements and have the population to support it. That didn't happen, but that's okay. Yes, we'll, we'll end it there and we'll come back and we'll get uh, Bunder, Bundaberg, is it? Bundesberg? Bundaberg growing and created into a town. Uh, we're still in 1876. Let's say, well, right, just save it and we'll get on a train and talk. All right, guys, we're on board our, one of our trains from the fisheries up to our brand new warehouse going through the crazy junctions that we've uh, just built. And, oh, that looks an imp impressive consist. I believe that's one of the same trains as well, one of the, the seafood runs. Oh, it's episode 13, I just realised. If you're superstitious, that might explain why we lost our gold tick. That's <laughs> It's just a number, isn't it? just the number moving on though should we get back into gold ticking ways that that's surely a sentence and oh that is steep i see where it gets the uh the grades from now yeah definitely with ones like that however they shouldn't affect it too much so i'm not too bothered about them it looks all right it, it wasn't too drastic either it kind of just gently went down the are we coming up to the warehouse? Which one's the warehouse? <laughs> this, oh no, this is just another uh, couple of maintenance yards, isn't it? It's so busy down here. It's going to get even busier. We're going to get more and more express uh, trains running or consists over to Brisbane. And hopefully some heading down south to Sydney as well. But that's it for today. Onwards. And more gold ticks, please. We can do it. And until next time, take care.